Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and shared. Celine Driver once again bringing you another unboxing and review of a video that is mine. Um, this was a watch I picked up from a friend of mine on the um, Random Rob Discord uh, group in a little sub channel called Flipper's Paradise. Uh, he goes by Big Bearded Viper. I know his real name, but I don't have permission to use it, so I'm not going to. Um, nice uh, daily driver type of watch that when I show it to you, you'll quickly figure out why I wanted to have the watch in the first place. Uh, let me see if uh, that gives you any idea of why I love orange uh, but also another a watch that I've um, had similar ones before and you know kept them for a while and sold them this one I think I'll keep for a while too because I really like this watch it is from Citizen and it arrived um, a couple days ago for me, for you, it's probably a little while ago. Beautiful watch. I, I really, uh, really like it. Uh, the, and, the, and the most abused part of the watch was the box, or the outer box, I should say. If you open up the outer box, which I'm doing off camera here, because it's really a big box for the camera, um, you get this dive equipment style case. You get a hang tag which came with it and a um, manual which is useless in terms of being a manual it basically says go to this website and watch a video and read a PDF and figure it out but that's okay I'm good at that so if you open up the case get that little tab off of there and it's a nice, you know, padded case. And you get this beautiful Citizen Sailhawk. Now, I've had um, uh, Airhawks or whatever they're called, the Blue Angels watch. I've had a few of those. I think their videos are still up on my channel if you want to watch them. It's very similar design watch to this one uh, those were a little more sophisticated module and they had um, things like radio control of the uh, you know radio updating where the uh, movement will intercept a signal either manually or automatically from the naval observatory in i believe it's colorado and update the watch the time the date the day the year the month that sort of thing this doesn't do that, but otherwise it's very similar with the twin um, LCD or uh, yeah, liquid crystal LED displays that show different things that the watch is doing. Um, and it has a compass bezel instead of a dive style bezel or a slide rule bezel. And you know, it's all in orange. Now, I put this watch on a different strap almost immediately because when I got it on this strap that's a little too much it was just a little too much orange for me and I love orange but my god it was just a little too bright this one is a a um, Rishi R-I-C-H R-I-T-C-H-E strap I've, I've done reviews of these straps before this mention is not sponsored, although in the past they did sponsor me to make a video for them. Uh, this one is also an FKM style rubber, which is better than this uh, polyurethane, which is nice, but hey, you can't beat an FKM. And just a really, really nice looking watch. And I think the black uh, strap with the orange underside and the orange trim around the holes and on the flanks uh, you know it, it it tones the watch down a little bit now i did reuse the citizen buckle 
the buckle that came with the FKM is safely put away in here you know, for the next person if they want it. This is an analog digital or an anti digi if you prefer um, yacht timer style watch. Now I don't understand all of the stuff that's you know written on the inside um, minute track you know tack angle windward leg tack angle you know reach running you know reach of this reach of that and I you know I'm not a yacht person I, I don't even really like boats that much uh, but it looks cool <laughs> it really does and I see I love the aesthetic of the watch that's why I bought it now the watch has multiple functions. We'll get into that in a little bit. But this is an eco drive, which means that it's a, well, the full name of the watch is the Citizen Eco Drive Pro Master Sailhawk Analog Digital. And it uses um, light to charge the watch, either sunlight or an overhead light of some kind, but it does use light to charge the watch. You can see a lot of that information on the back, including the, the module number, the serial number, on and on like that. It does have a conventional crown of a, of a sort. It does, it, you know, it does perform setting functions. It has A, B, and C buttons. I have yet to figure out what this button does. I mean, I looked in the literature. It's mentioned. It does something, but I'm not really sure exactly what. Uh, but you do use the crown like on, say, my Breitling Aerospace or my Breitling Emergency. The crown is used to select the different functions, among other things, when it's in the pushed-in mode. And the different functions are labeled out here on the dial here at the 6 o'clock. You have a 24-hour indicator at the, um, I guess, 10 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, you have a chronograph minute tracker. Now, right now I'm in time mode. Now the hands, and I've, I've got two different times displayed on the, um, on the watch. I have um, UTC or Greenwich Mean Time displayed on the LCD on the right. It's 6.14 p.m. You can see the little P in the upper left corner. 6.15 now. Um, Greenwich Mean Time or London time, if you will. Now that's five hours um, ahead of where I am in the Eastern time zone of the US. So in the Eastern US, it's 1.15. Now I can set the time zone for this screen by cycling between these two buttons. If I want to head, I think it's West, I press the B button and I'm in uh, whatever BUE is, and then Rio, and then CCS, which I don't know what that is, and then Yule, or NYC, which is Eastern Time Zone. Or I can cycle back forward to UTC, and I can cycle forward to, say, London, which is the same as UTC, or Paris, or so on. I'm going to leave it on UTC. Now, if I wanted to see the calendar, I turn the crown forward. This little doodad points at CAL or calendar, and I can see it's July 30th, Sunday. If I rotate forward some more, I'm now in, um, what am I? I forgot. See, oh, 60 minute countdown. If I turn again, I'm in chronograph. And if I use this button, I can start the chronograph. And you can see I have digital out, uh, out uh, readouts of the uh, chrono plus the analog of the uh, second hand. And I can stop it and I can reset it. I also have um, a 99 minute uh, count up timer. I have two alarms, which are off, and I have the setting function, which I'm not going to get into because I have the watch set just so. 
and you can see that the second hand resyncs itself to the digital. And I'm back to analog time again. Now there's a whole video out there that Cas uh, Casio Citizen puts out to help set the watch and use it and that sort of thing. If you really want to see that, you can go to Citizen's website and look up the Sailhawk and watch the video. But like I said, this has 30 time zones built in, a split lap, uh, pardon me, a split lap timer, a yacht racing timer, a countdown timer, two alarms. It, it, it's a it's full function watch. Uh, it's using a quartz module, the uh, Citizen or C660 module. It is a solar charge module. Uh, this, the original strap is um, polyurethane, as I mentioned before. Uh, this strap is FKM rubber from uh, Rishi. Mineral crystal, which is a shame, but you know, this is a lower price watch even when you buy it at retail. And uh, uh, Big Beard Viper gave me a great price on this watch. So uh, tip of the hat to him for that. It is a uh, aluminum bezel insert. It is a compass bezel insert and it is bi-directional. And it's a friction fit. There's no detents or anything, but it's stiff enough that it's it takes it takes effort to move it. it. You know, you're not just going to move it by banging it against something. It takes effort to move it. Coin edge bezel, which I, I love. Uh, and like I said, I don't exactly know what this button does, but it does something. I'm going to give you a wrist shot here as soon as I put it on. It's not a small watch. It is a good size watch. I'll go into that measurement and the measurements in a second here. But on my wrist, it fits very nicely. My seven and a quarter inch wrist, it fits beautifully. It has fairly short lugs, so it's not um, overhanging too much. I'd say six and a half inch wrist is probably the smallest this thing is going to uh, wear. And it's not going to fit under a dress cuff. So this is not a dress watch by any stretch of the imagination. So... But you have plenty of wrist watches for that. You don't need this for that. It is a 200 meter water resistant um, watch. That's coined to Citizen. Now, none of these pushers or crown are screwed down. The case back is screwed down. So I'm pretty sure the case back can handle it. But I wouldn't push the seals on these points here. I'd be a little worried, but for a swim or getting the watch wet, I think you're okay. I just, I wouldn't submerge the watch. But if you're out on a yacht, timing yacht race, and the water sprays up on the watch, I don't think you're going to have a problem. It's a good size watch, 44 millimeter diameter case. Now these measurements I got from Citizen. Uh, 22 millimeter lug. It is uh, 51.5 on the tip to tip. So from here to here, 51.5 millimeters. And it is a good size thick boy at 50 millimeter. It is a flat mineral crystal and a nicely signed crown as well. Overall, a, a fantastic sports watch. It has the chronograph function. It has the countdown timer. Uh, it has a split lap time function if you want that. It, it can monitor two different time zones. Uh, well, it monitors 30 time zones, and with a simple push of one button or the other, you can cycle between them. You know, if I'm, say, in Florida, which I am, and I want to find out what time it is in the same time zone as, say, uh, Paris, I can just cycle forward with the A button until I get to. Well, I passed it. Paris, P-A-R. And I see it's 721 p.m. in Paris. It's 621 in London, which is also 621 in UTC, uh, or Greenwich Mean Time. And if I want to find out what time it is in um, Sydney, I can cycle through and find out what time it is in Sydney. All I need to know is the three-letter code that the watch uses. So... 
would make a great travel watch. It makes a great sport watch. Um, it's it's definitely a very very good all arounder. Uh, grab and go style watch. Uh, would not hesitate to recommend it to anyone. I've seen these on sale online in various places anywhere from three seventy five to four twenty five. Uh, United States uh, currency. So I pick one up if you're in the market for one. I think it's a hell of a watch. It does lack the radio up update uh, function of the Nighthawks and the Blue Angel watches that I've reviewed on this channel before. It's nice, but it also doesn't really work well indoors. But your fingers do. And that's all I'll say about that. So I hope you found this video to be entertaining, a useful, uh, enlightening, educational. If you did, thumbs up, please click that thumbs up button. It does help the YouTube search algorithm make my channel a bit more prominent. And that brings people to the channel. And that is always a good thing. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you're going to try and insult me, you're going to try and troll me, or you're going to leave bad place links on the internet. Uh, in my comment section, I'm simply going to delete the comment and block the commenter, like I do. If you're new to the channel, of course, welcome. I'm glad you found my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will take the time to watch other videos of similar watches and dissimilar watches. I have many videos and many videos on other topics as well. All I ask in return for all this great entertainment is that you click that subscribe button. Help me grow this channel a bit more. And when you do subscribe, don't forget to click the bell icon so that when I upload new videos or I do a live stream, you will be alerted. And as I always say at the end of my videos, it is a crazy old world out there. It is not getting any less crazy. So please, be careful out there. Stay safe. Be well. See you soon.